talking plants, huh? Okay then, before I start today's Retrobat and CU emulator setup guide for Windows PC, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on the upcoming retro emulation content. Helps my channel a lot, plus you get up-to-date retro emulation content as I release it, which is virtually every day. So we're looking at CU emulator today, and this is for Retrobat 6.1. So what we're going to need is some product keys, we're going to need firmware, and we're of course going to need some games but i'm going to get into that shortly so first thing what we need to do is actually download the emulator itself link's going to be in my description for the suyu emulator and what we're going to do is just scroll down and we're going to download this for windows okay so once we downloaded suyu what we're going to do is go to the retrobat shortcut if i right click on that go down to open file location and from here i'm just going to go into the emulators folder and if we scroll down, we're going to come across Suyu. Here's Suyu. And if I just go inside of there, what I'm going to do with the Suyu emulator I've just downloaded is just open this up. And we're going to find a release folder inside of here. If I open up the release folder, here's our contents for the Suyu emulator. If I press Ctrl and A to highlight everything here. And what I'm going to do is just drag and drop everything into that emulator Suyu folder. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is just go into the suyu.exe, which opens up the emulator. I'm going to double left click on that. And we're just going to press OK from here. And if I close it down, next up, we're just going to go up to the user folder. And if we go inside of the user folder, we're going to find a folder here called keys. And inside of the keys folder, I'm going to just drag and drop product keys and title keys inside of here. Now, if I come back out and out again, let's open up the emulator again. So, suyu.exe. And here we go. So, on the second time of booting up the suyu emulator, we no longer get that little pop-up asking for keys. Next thing that we need to do for now is just double left click to add a new folder to the game list. What we're going to do is just close this down again. And in the Retrobat directory, we're just going to scroll back until we find ROMs. If we go into the ROMs folder, we're then going to just scroll down and we're going to find Switch. And here's where the Switch games are going to go. So I've got a few here to test this out. And these are in .nsp and also .xci file extension, which both work fine with Suyu. So if I just copy those games into the ROMs Switch folder... And I'm then going to go back into the emulators folder and just go down to find Suyu once again. If I open up Suyu, and we're going to double click to add a new folder to the game list. So what I'm going to do is just double left click and we're going to point this to the Retrobat ROMs folder. So in my case, Retrobat is installed on my computer. So I'm going to go to C drive and if I scroll down, I'm going to find Retrobat and we're going to scroll down again, ROMs, and we're going to scroll down until we come across Switch. Here's Switch. If I left click once on that and select folder and here's the games. Next up, we need to add firmware. So to do this, we need to go back into the Retrobat directory, open file location. We're going to go to emulators and just look up Suyu once again. Here's Suyu. Now from Suyu, what we're going to do next is just go into the user folder and we're going to go into the NANS folder. And from the NANS folder, we're going to go into system. And from system, we're going to go to contents. And from contents, we're going to go into the registered folder. And this is where your firmware is going to be placed. Now here's my firmware. This is 18.0.0. So I'm going to open this up. And I'm just going to control and A and copy all of those NCA files 
into the contents registered folder. Okay, so once we've done that, let's just open up Suyu Emulator again, just to make sure everything's working. So we're going to go to Suyu. And if I just expand this, let's try and open up Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And here we go, just like Yuzu, this is launching straight into the game. Now, if you have any issues with your controls at this point, what we're going to do is just go to Emulation, Configure, and we're going to drop down to Controls. And right just here under Input Device, you should find your controller. Now, mine's an Xbox One controller, and I'm also setting the first part here to Pro Controller. And if you wish, you can actually map out your control. This is automatically configured for you, but if you do need to do this, then, for example, if I just left click on D-pad up, I can then press on my D-pad up on my Xbox controller. If I just apply it and then OK. Now, as we can see, everything's running fine for now, and I don't have much experience with this particular emulator. In fact, I don't really agree with Nintendo Switch being on retro bat because it's not retro, but it's my mission on my channel to cover every retro bat system. So anyways, let's talk about DLC and updates. So let's just open up Suyu again. And to do this, if you've got DLC and update for your game, then to do this, we're just going to go to File, and then simply just go to Install Files to NAND. This is going to open up Install Files window. From here, you can just double left click on your DLC or updates, and that's how you do that. So everything's running fine. So what we're going to do is open up Retrobat now. Now, if you've done this correctly, when you open up Retrobat, you're going to find Nintendo Switch, like I've got just here. Now we need to make sure that Suyu is selected. So if I press select on my controller, just go down to advanced system options, press A. And under emulator, by default, this is gonna be on auto, which is gonna detect Ryu Jinx. Just make sure Suyu is selected. And let's just scrape some artwork too. So if I press my start button, main menu opens, go down to scraper, and we're gonna to go to scraper settings and just make sure you've selected all of those settings that you want for that particular artwork. I'm gonna to go to back and then systems included, just make sure that switch is enabled. Go to back and scrape now. Scraping's now gonna then commence and we're just gonna wait a few seconds for this. And scraping's finished, let's update game list to apply changes. So just go up to game settings, press A, update game list, and yes. And here we go then. So we got artwork for some of my games. Darius Bursa Another Chronicle X is quite likely that the scraping database, which is Screen Scraper, doesn't like how this is spelled. If this happens to you and you desperately want artwork, then just go out and edit the name of your game file. So let's actually open up another game using Suyu. And here we go, we're straight into Suyu using Retrobat front end.
Now just remember on the first time round of playing Switch games, it's going to be very laggy even if you've got a very good computer and what this is doing is just gathering bits and pieces of data and normally on your second time of playing most of that lag will be gone so just remember initially and I'm also going to say here that if you do have a lower end computer then I probably wouldn't even suggest trying to run Switch games on it, it could blow up your computer. But even if you've got a higher end computer or a gaming computer or whatever, you will notice lag. And I'm also going to say here that I don't have a look at the compatibility list for doing this video. So I really have no idea what's fully compatible as a recording this video and what's working fine. No idea. Okay, if I just press my hotkeys to come out of that, what I'm going to do is just open up view options by pressing select on my controller, go down to advanced system options. Now we got internal resolution. By default, this is going to be running from auto, which I presume is going to be 360p to 540p. You can bump this up, but just remember, this is going to be very stressful on your computer hardware, your CPU and your GPU could fry. So just be very careful with these type of settings. If I put this on, say, 720p to 1080p, or let's actually try 1.5 times 1080p, 1620p. I'm then going to go to vertical sync. And in order to use vertical sync, in some of these, we need to have Vulkan only selected. So I'm going to select this and then I'm going to make sure that Vulkan is selected to enable this. So if I go down to drivers, video, I'm going to select Vulkan just here. And let's just boot up another game. Let's see if this is going to work. Now in this case, this game is frozen on me, so I'm not sure what the issue is with this one, but I can't do anything, so I'm just going to press my hotkeys to come out. And there's a good likelihood if I go to internal resolution and put this one back to auto and put everything how it was. So just go down to drivers, video, and put this back to auto. There's a good chance the game might boot. Whilst we're under these video settings, we've also got visual rendering just here. We can apply anti-aliasing, but just like internal resolution, this could really stress out your computer. So just choose these type of options very wisely. And what anti-aliasing does is actually takes away those jagged edges on some of the games which Switch or retro games might have. If I put this to MSAA, we also got anastrophic filtering. And again, if we bump this up, it could be very stressful on your computer. I'm going to just put this on the two times. And we got scaling filter too. I'm going to drop this one down to bilinear. And what I'm going to do from here is open up a game that I know is already working. So we're going to apply these video settings and we're going to open up Super Mario again. And as you can see just here, because I've applied those video settings, it's taken a little bit longer to boot up. And that's it for today's Retro Bat and Sue emulator setup guide. So like I said in the video, I don't use this emulator and you might have to look for a compatibility list to see what's fully working with it and what's not. So from 
the tests I've done today, two of the games are working, and the Darius Burst game isn't working too well. In fact, that one crashed on me. Anyways, I've also covered Ryu Jinx in the past, as well as Yuzu. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to check out all my RetroBat setup guides. I've got an entire playlist. There's around over 140 at this point. Anyways, hit notifications, subscribe if you like the video today. Also, join me on social media. I'm on Facebook. Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.